Boo, man! Welcome to the Frick Cast. Today, we're taking a first look at some new Halloween bricks. It's spooky season, boys, and that means spooky bars. Dr. Squatch is not only bringing back the fan favorite Werewolf Wash and Brick of the Dead, as well as the Stick of the Dead, but they're dropping two brand new bricks. One of which looks to be the spiritual successor of a highly requested classic. First though, let's look at the new Count Sudzula. Now this boy is a light grit bar with black currant seeds as the grit, which we've seen before in the Sinister Scrub. The other unique ingredient is Resurrection Plant, which we've seen before in the Resistance Rinse, and I believe the Raptor Rush. Unfortunately, there's also Red Iron Oxide, which isn't necessarily bad, but as you can maybe tell by the look of the bar, it looks very similar to the Energy Bar. And as you may recall with that brick, it bled all over the place, it kind of made a mess. Scent-wise, the Vampire Boy is described as having notes of berries, leather, and vetiver. It sounds interesting enough, seems mostly like a fruity scent. And of course, we also have the bar that you may have been waiting for for years, the Headless Rents. This is essentially the spiritual successor to the Drunken Pumpkin. However, it seems that it's its own bar, so I wouldn't be expecting the original scent to come back, at least not exactly, but we could still get a nifty one here. This is a zero grit with pumpkin seed oil, pumpkin enzyme, and activated charcoal as unique ingredients. The notes are said to be pumpkin, stout, cinnamon, thyme, and sandalwood. Sounds good to me. The package is also one of my favorites as well. I like the new monster trio they have going with the Headless Horseman, Dracula, and Werewolf Bricks. As for the Werewolf Wash and the Brick of the Dead, as well as the Stick of the Dead, these have also returned to the realm of the living. But unlike the two new releases, these are available at Walmart and other stores in addition to the website. If you want to see my reviews on those, I already have guides out for all three. As for Nabby and the Spooky Collection, they are available in bundles, for individual purchase, and of course in the subscription, where you'll get the most bang for your buck. So let me know which of these you'll be getting, and which you're most excited for. As always, Frick Nation, stay nifty. Boo, man!